I just wanted to give you a little update on how Maverick is doing. She feels like a different dog to me than when she showed up here. She has really come out of her shell. Um, when we go out into public spaces, she's still a little cautious, but um, much more friendly. And I feel like she's getting like where it, it's much more easy for her to perform her behaviors when there's new distractions going on and when we're um, you know, new people around, new noises. We went into Home Depot and there's a lot of loud noises in there. And I feel like overall she did great. So we will just keep working on that. So I wanna show you the basic behaviors we've been practicing um, in the house and then out in public as well. So touch is a big one and she's very good at it. And touch is a way to get her attention. It's a way to call her to come. It's just a nose bump. Maverick, touch. Good girl, touch, touch, good girl, touch, yes, good. You'll hear me say yes a lot, yes means she's got it right, and I'm rewarding that behavior. Okay, um, Maverick, I'm just gonna demo for you and all these, so I won't try not to go into too much detail. Sit, good girl, down, uh -uh. down, good girl, watch me. is just standing up on all fours. Down, down. Oh, that's a tricky one. Good. So that's a little bit harder because I had her go into the down from the stand position, not from sitting, which is what we usually do. So we will keep working on that. Good girl. Stand, yes. So I'm gonna come back and reward her on the stay. Watch me. Stay. And then go out again. Uh uh uh. Sit. Stay. So if she gets up, my job is just to get her back into position. Stay. Good girl. Right, so you hear me giving her, I gave her a little correction, which was me just saying, uh uh. And then I just quickly got her back into position. So eventually I want her to be able to stay for, you know, a much longer amount of time. Stay. Good. Can you stay while I jump? Good girl. Stay. So we start to add in little distractions. I like to do like little silly dances. And she goes, what are you doing? But the idea is that it doesn't matter what I'm doing, her job is to not move. Okay, good girl, until I release her. And then once I release her, um, she doesn't get a cookie then, she just gets to get up. Good girl, good girl, good. Her walking um, is going really well, even when we see other dogs. We've been working on side, which we haven't done a lot, so we'll try it side. Good girl, that eventually will look a lot more smooth, but it's where she does this little U-turn. Side. Yes, good girl. So what that'll look like when she's doing really well is that you could be standing here, tell her side, and she'll just whoop, do a little U-turn next to you. Um, let me get my list. So, have my little chart I keep with her. Um, so we have worked on watch me sit down, stand, stay, coming when called, coming when called, we work on on the walks, we work on in the yard, she works on coming when she's with a bunch of dogs, she works when she's just by herself, but the idea is to get her to come anytime, anywhere. Um, leave it, I'll demo leave, leave it for you, we've worked on drop it, waiting at the door, so not bolting out, walking, our side, and touch. So that's kind of where we've gotten so far. Um, 
you know, I don't want to add like tons of behaviors and get too crazy. So what a lot of the focus will be from here is going, okay, now we've, we've worked on these behaviors. And so we want to start to proof those behaviors. So we want to get a much stronger, longer stay. Um, I want to get where she can practice these things in all kinds of different atmospheres, right? So um, yeah, let me show you, leave it. Good, ready? So leave it means don't touch it, or drop it means spit it out. So it's just a handful of food. Leave, ah. <laughs> leave it, yes, good girl. She's like, oh, thought you're handing it to me. Let's try that again. Leave it, yes, good girl. Leave it, yes, good girl, good girl. All right, so that, that's with food, but uh, grab like a shoe. So this is a kid's shoe with a sock in it, and oh, these ones are tough for her. So in real life, there might be, leave it, uh-uh, leave it, yes. Right, so that would be me practicing a leave it. So um, I gave her a little negative marker in there because she kept sniffing it, so I said, uh-uh, leave it. Yes, right, so just the idea that we can practice with other things that are not um, food. We also have, so we have leave it where it's in our hand. Come down here. I'm gonna do another leave it where I put it on the floor. Good girl. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes, good girl. Good girl, oh, there's so many. Lots of, I have lots of tiny dogs here, so. I use a lot of their dog food, um, so I have other puppies' food in here and her food. Um, so it's like, I would say like 80% food and then some treats mixed in. So a lot of what she's working for is just her regular dog food. And the last leave it exercise I want to show you is leave it falling from above. Good girl, do like, oh, stay in front of the camera. Um, I wanted a biscuit to show you. Leave it. That one's tougher. Good girl. So I'm just gonna tell her good girl on that one because it took her a really long time to leave it. So um, I wanna say leave it and she goes, oh, okay, I'll leave it. So we'll try it again. Part of our rewarding is as she gets better, you wanna start to reward for a better version of a behavior, right? And we wanna start rewarding where we can get several behaviors for one treat instead of, you know, one treat. I mean, one behavior, one treat. So she's getting there. Whoops, sorry, baby. Leave it. Oh, let's just leave it. Uh, 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 leave it. Leave it. Yes, good girl. Okay. Obviously, I can see which leave it exercise needs the most work. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good. We'll try one last time. Leave it. Uh -uh. Leave it. Yes. Good girl.